at the CARTP was a great introductory course to Azure hacking. I'd be honest here, the videos are not well edited. Uh, by the way, I was able to finish the lab right before the scheduled uh, due date for my newborn. After seven hours, I already had the flag. Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. Today I wanted to give you an update because it has been a long time since I've put anything on YouTube or my blog. Sorry for that. So basically, um, this year I have targeted three certifications to advance my capabilities. And obviously I'm an offensive security engineer, so I'm focused on the attack side. So, uh, this year, I wanted to learn more about Azure hacking, and since I already tested CRTP from Altered Security Certified Red Team Professional, which is, as I explained in my previous feedback, was geared, to, geared towards Active Directory, I um, wanted to do the same for Azure, because they have quality labs and content. And so, I targeted the Certified Azure Red Team Professional, CRTP, and Certified Azure um, Red Team Expert, which is um, CRTE. So, um, I started earlier this year, uh, I think early, yeah, I think uh, end of 2024, I started the uh, learning journey and um, I took the package for two months because I just wanted to have some room for uh, other projects to manage and um, have enough time to be able to grasp the content, um, apply my knowledge on the lab and then have a grasp, understand, have a solid understanding of the uh, content of the course. And so um, on April I was able to pass the first certification. All I can say is that the CARTP was a great introductory course to Azure hacking. It explains the different tools that are used to communicate with Azure and Intra ID. Um, I think probably the uh, naming of the certification came while um, Intra ID was still called Azure AD. What I mean by Azure is the Azure Resource Manager. You know, the when you log into the Azure portal and you list all the resources uh, apart from the Entry ID part. Basically the workloads that you're deploying on Azure. Virtual machines, networks, logic apps, and other stuff. So we learn how to use uh, the AMG module, uh, Microsoft Graphs, official um, module, but also other tools that use um, older versions of the API to allow us to do more enumeration. Um, we explored the Azure PowerShell module that allowed us to communicate and interact with the different um, Azure resources through the Azure Resource Manager. And then we learned also a lot of open source tools, things like Azure Hound to perform enumeration, much like Light Hound, uh, Road Tools, which is a great tool to perform various attacks, AD Internals, which is great for uh, all kinds of enumeration. I purchased the course when Altered Security still had no. Um, unified dashboard, meaning that we had access um, as part of the course material, we had access to the course, the uh, slides of the course, the videos of the course, uh, the lab uh, walkthrough document, which was in PDF, as well as docx for easier copy pasting, and then um, we had access, obviously, to the lab. I first started watching videos, but uh, 
I'd be honest here, the videos are not well edited. I think Nikhil just took the um, videos, recordings of um, a boot camp and just put them uh, as an on-demand video package. Um, I would I would have loved to have like concise video rather than going through all the pauses and troubleshooting through the video but all in all that was uh, good content so I chose to skip the videos and just focus on the slides and then apply the slides knowledge on the lab through the uh, lab manual so basically I just try to reproduce the same commands on the lab that were explained in the lab manual. I did that because I was on a tight uh, schedule. I had other projects. I also had other family stuff going on. So that was for me a great choice because I was able to quickly advance in the course, um, apply the knowledge that I learned from the slides on the lab and if I didn't understand something or like I felt something was missing in the slides or I didn't understand why a certain command worked or not, I'd go to the video and then watch it. But that was uh, rare because the documentation was great. The lab manual was greatly explained. I didn't start the exam right away because I had my newborn so instead I tried to advance in the C-A-R-T-E uh, course and that was a great choice as well because I um, didn't like wait until I passed the C-R-T-P C-A-R-T-P to um, do the uh, next course that have that when I manipulated the second lab right before my uh, by the way I was able to finish the lab right before the scheduled uh, due date for my newborn so um, I was able to explore other attacks but main the main thing was that for the CR, CA RTP case was that I didn't forget about the commands and the reflexes, you know, the mind muscles that I've built while learning the CARTP. Um, and of course I had all my notes, um, all the commands that I used, um, the, I organized things so that I can easily access them in preparation for the exam. And uh, the day of the exam that was way after I, uh, I finished the CARTP course, I think that was like two or three months uh, because I had already, uh, the lab already expired, but I had gone through all the course material, so I was pretty much ready. So when things got stabilized on my family side, I decided one day to uh, start the exam. Now, everything now is accessible through the portal. But before going to the portal and explaining to you guys how the exam went, I just wanted to uh, talk about the uh, organization of the uh, content of the course. CIRTB is full of knowledge. However, I feel like it's uh, structured in a way that it's confusing. But it might be just my case. I read other uh, messages on Discord, and I think that other people share with me the same thing. Uh, the course is oriented, is structured around uh, kill chain steps, so enumeration, black box, and gray box, and then um, initial access, and then escalation, lateral movement, um, tenant escalation, cross tenant access, and then 
persistence, etc. The lab was designed to have several attack scenarios to learn multiple things, which I found to be very good. The problem is that we had multiple kill chains in parallel, all at once, and that confused me. So I had to not follow the kill chain approach in my notes, internal notes, and instead I put like enumeration, black box, these are the tools that we use, this is the methodology, these are the commands that we can run, etc, etc. And then moving to the next uh, step in the kill chain, etc. And for so I would have maybe um, a big kill chain and within it we have multiple attack scenarios, if that makes sense. So that was a little bit confusing. Now, moving back to the exam, uh, nowadays we have everything, Altered Security has, pro has offered a centralized portal which allows to have all your courses aggregated in one spot, which is great because I don't have to navigate through OneDrive uh, folders and on one course and then uh, place bookmarks on my navigator to go through the others. Everything is centralized around one dashboard. Great. And contrary to what my, I had as an experience with the CRTP uh, and CRTP courses and also the CRTM, now it's called CRTM, before it was called PACES. Um, these certifications needed to have this exam schedule by the team. Now, from the dashboard, I just felt like, okay, today was a, a Saturday morning. I got up at maybe at 4, 4.30, 4 and then got my breakfast, etc and started the exam at 5.30. Just click on the button, validated that I wanted to uh, still run the exam, and then boom, you had um, 25 hours. That's 24 hours plus the one hour for the lab setup, which was like 15 minutes at the beginning of the exam. I had all my tools that I downloaded from the dashboard uh, on my machine, so I copied them on demand as I needed them because I didn't want to take time uh, copying all the tools. And finally, I just I think I just used 10% of the tools that we learned. And um, yeah, the exam had access to uh, one. Uh, student VM, the exam VM, and from there you have the access to um, two tenants um, and you have resources spread across those tenants and the final objective is to be able to capture the final flag. All I can say is that the the exam was a bit easy in my opinion. There were some hurdles that I was able to uh, solve through the journey but after seven hours I already had the flag so meanwhile I was writing my uh, report and I was documenting the screenshots and uh, it took me just maybe one hour to finish up the report generate the table of content and verify that everything is good and I was able to send the the report to the day after and after maybe three days I got a positive feedback from Altered, Altered Security saying that I am now officially CARTP certified you all right uh see you guys in the next episode where i talk about the rest of the certifications stay curious keep learning and go find some bugs